And oh, wow, let's go. Wait, no way that this is happening right now. Two? You got two? Yo, what's up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I guess you can call it a part two or a continuation, but if you haven't seen part one, where I open these packages from the Pokemon Center, please watch the video in the I card above. I don't know which way it is. I think it's here. So you can watch that video first to get some context of where these products came from. But as you can see right here, we do have the Chilling Rain Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. This is a Shadow Rider Calyrex form. And we do have the Compensation, quote unquote, blister pack that contains the two additional booster packs that were forgotten in the box. And three promos, but not really. These are actually like the set cards and a Raikou coin. So let's first start off with the blister pack real quick. And for some reason, these blister packs are actually going for a good amount on eBay or the secondary market because this is quote unquote an error blister pack, I guess, because this was Pokemon's uh, way of compensating booster packs. And yeah, I guess for me, I don't really see the appeal to like spending money on this because it's just two additional booster packs. It's nothing special. But I guess if you are interested, then you can go ahead and buy some on eBay, but I would not recommend it. But starting off, we do have the two booster packs that were supposed to be in the ETB itself. We do have these Galarian Bird promos, or I keep saying promo cards, but then these are the set cards. And they are put in these like plastic divots, so the quality on these cards is not the best. There's a lot of nicks towards the bottom where the cards are being held in place. So yeah, don't expect the best quality for these cards. And we do have a Raikou coin. It's a gold Raikou coin. And on the back it just says Pokemon in black. So there we go. Now let's move on to the Elite Trainer Box itself. So let me actually just cut it open, cut the side right here and slide everything out. And one thing that I did forget to show you guys as I always do in my ETV videos is opening the little flap and showing you guys the artwork. So we're starting off with the Ice Rider, Shadow Rider, Galarian Articuno, Galarian Zapdos, and last but not least, we do have the Galarian Moltres right there, which is inside of every Elite Trainer Box little insert right here. Or I guess it's more like the outer cover. We do have the player's guide as it basically just showcases the cards in the set and also just some synergies, how these cards work. And what everyone really cares about are the full art cards. So we're starting with the set cards right here. So starting with Grass, Fire, Water, Electric, Psychic, Ground, Dark Steel, Colorless, and onto the Trainers. And we're moving on to the full arts right here, starting with the Celebi. So full art cards. Then we're going to the alternate arts. We're moving into the full art trainers down here. More full art trainers, more alt arts. We have some rainbow rares, more rainbow rares, and some gold cards. So these sets are becoming so much more difficult to collect because the set list is just so big. But I mean, I guess the Pokemon Company International is going to do whatever they want. But we do have Chilling Rain on the top in silver. We do have Chilling Rain on the side as well. Didn't really showcase the box as much in the previous one, but we do have Shadow Rider right there and like this like purple gradient and like this like lavender, uh, I guess, uh, silhouette of Shadow Rider. Opening the top, we do have the divider right here. So starting off, we have the Pokemon TCG rulebook. So a little booklet that will help you with the rules. We do have the Poison and Burn acrylic counters. We do have this jumbo coin of Shadow Rider in like this like purple and shatter hollow foil, um, I guess pattern and on the back we do have Pokemon in purple or like a lavender very nice touch and for these Pokemon Center ETBs it also did come with some special metal dice so it is silver with some purple text right there so these are pretty hefty dice so just want to point that out taking the divider out obviously we have our packs so we have one two three four five six seven eight an additional two from the blister we have these dividers of shadow rider on the front and a more i guess zoomed out picture on the back with a pattern with like this like lighter purple pattern we do have some deck sleeves as well and last but not least our random brick of energies let me just clean up my play mat because there's so much debris that comes out of the etv but let's get right into our pack. So let's just cut it down in half. So five, five, put it in the top right and let's start off with our first pack. So we're starting with the white coat, very nice. And let's do four to the front, flip it around. So starting off, we have a metal energy, Flannery, Crabominable, a single strike scroll of piercing, Bounce Suite, Lapras with Melanie in the background. Love this artwork with like the trainer, Blitzel, a Aaron, Deerling, a reverse Inteleon, like that artwork, very dynamic. 
And behind it, we have a Tauros Single Strike Hollow. Okay. I honestly don't really know what I want in the set because the secret rare list is so big, so I'll be happy with anything. There's not really a chase when there's so many cards, so I, I think what I'm going to do eventually down the road is just buy all the secret rares outright, so yeah. But for this one, we have a Fire, Brawly, Celio, Clara, Mareep, Heracross, Clobopus by Mori, a Grookey, Sneasel doing Fruit Ninja, Celio Reverse, and we have a Wall Rain. Okay, the evolution line. Wall Rain non hollow. On to pack number three. Here is the code for you guys. Four to the front. And please only take one if you can and save the rest for others. Dark Energy, Impact Energy, Path to the Peak, Drizzile, Venipede, Sveal, a Crab Brawler, Golet, Porygon, like this artwork. A Bonnet Single Strike Reverse, and oh, wow, let's go. We have a Fighting Energy Gold Card Secret Rare, I think. And man, I love like the little hollow pattern on like the little aura effect around it. Kind of reminds me of like going Super Saiyan, but she that's insane. Did not expect this at all. Unfortunately, it is the Fighting Type Energy, which I think it's the least expensive out of like all the different types, but still. We got a gold energy right there, so very, very nice. Definitely gonna sleeve this card up, and let's just continue on. So, all right, so our third pack in, we got a secret rare gold card. Hopefully we can get another rare or something, but I doubt it. So we're starting off with a grass energy. Agatha, shout out to you, Jin. <laughs> Fall Crystal, how do you pronounce this? Peonia, I think. Snow Runt, Venipede, Snover. A Galarian Slowpoke. I do actually want to get the promo card that's releasing in the single blister in the new set, Evolving Skies, just a side tangent because it is done by Sao Sao. But anyways, we have a Crab Brawler. Oh, skip through it. We have a Saviper, a Sawsbuck. Wait, did I pull this by... Okay, I actually pulled this behind by mistake, but we have a Sawsbuck Reverse and a Saviper non hollow rare on to pack number five okay so for some reason this pack feels like extra thick i don't maybe there's more than 11 cards or something and yeah this was like crimped on the top so terrible qc on the english side of pokemon as always but four to the front and let's see what we can get so we have a fighting weeding gloves avery flaffy by Sui. gotta love it cast form snowy form ghastly cub foo Tenna, Sobble training under the waterfall like Naruto, a Galarian Slowpoke, and a Slurpuff non hollow rare. Okay, interesting. We're halfway through this opening, so let's continue on with pack number six. Here is a code card for you guys, four to the front. And let's see, for this one, we have a Fire, Raboot, Agatha, shout out to you, Jim, Rapid Strike Scroll of the Sky, such a mouthful, Ghastly, Ladyba, Porygon, Swirlix with the donut, gotta love it. Sneasel doing Fruit Ninja. Gallade Reverse, I love the art style in this. The flowers low key remind me of Demon Slayer, just a side tangent. And a Agron Non Hollow. Pack number seven, and we're winding down on this opening. Here is a code and four to the front. Let's flip it around and see what we can get. So we have a Psychic, Crushing Gloves, so many gloves. Curlia, Justified Gloves, as I just said. Sfeel, Cast Form Sunny Form by Mori, Hatena, Rockruff, a Shuppet. I love this art style. Just, I don't know, just something about it. But we have a Galarian Slow King reverse, and no freaking way. Wait, there's no way. Wait, no way that this is happening right now. Two? We got two? With the addition of two, count them, two. Holy crap, we got a Psychic Energy Secret Rare Gold card? What in the what in the world? Oh my goodness. Um I mean, I'll take it. Your boy is not complaining at all. Wow, what in the world? What are the chances? So that completely debunks my myth of not getting good pull rates, but I mean that's something. And if you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much. Here is the code card for the ETB itself. But okay, so we have three packs left. I'll be happy with just these two pulls, but anything else will just be a bonus. Code card for you guys, four to the front. And let's see, so we have A, Metal Energy, Laron, Zack, PTSD, Expedition Uniform, Old Cemetery, Furfru, Diglett, Larvesta, just chilling with some flowers, 
NK about to do some cooking, Rock Ruff, Rapid Strike Scroll of the Skies Reverse, and a Zepstrika non hollow. I think because one of my favorite Pokemon is Giraffery, I think Zepstrika is definitely up there with Blitzel because like they're kind of similar in some way, shape or form. So we do have a coat card for to the front. And for this one, we have a water. Layer on again, Zack. PTSD, we have a Steeny by Komiya, Rugged Helmet. A Weedle doing curl-ups with a Heracross in the back. Cast Form, this is by Ito, which does a yarn artwork. Quillfish, Ralts, Heracross, really like the art on this. A Furfru Reverse, and a Serena non holo Rare. And on to our last pack. Can we get a holo or better? Um, fortunately not because it is a green code, but here is a code for you guys. We have a Dark Energy, Melanie, Rolope, I think that's our first one. A Cybold, he looks like the guy from a My Hero Academia, like Genus, I think that's his name. That's what he reminds me of. A Ghastly, Kupfu, Hatena, Sable Training Under the Waterfall, Bound Sweet, oh, Reverse Bound Sweet, back to back. And we have a Galarian Weezing Non Hollow. And as always, we can't forget our last segment of the video, which is the Shiny Star V looking for the elusive Marnie Fuller card, which I want so bad. So we'll be opening up one Shiny Star V at the end of each unboxing video. And once we do find it, I think I might switch over to a different set. But for now, the search for the Marnie Fuller is going to continue. If you watch my recent unboxing videos, you'll know that this is a series. So yeah, come with me as I try to search for the best girl. Marnie. So for these packs, we do get this like promotional little code card, I guess. Not even a code card. So we have the Blastoise VMAX tech. And on the back, we have the GMAX uh, Inteleon. And for these packs, there is no card trick. So we just go straight through. So we have a Squovet, a Darmaka, Spinarak, a Battle Tower, or Rose Tower, I think. Oh, Dreadnought. Love that art. A Capacious. Learned that word. Capacious Bucket. Zacian, uh, blank down the word, hollow. A Inteleon hollow, let's go. And DDV, very nice. And last but not least, our super cool reverse pattern of the fossils in this raindrop pattern. So very nice. So unfortunately, the search for Marnie will continue. I want to note that 90% of you guys who watch my content is not subscribed. So if you want to support me, then please like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. We're on the road to 1k subs, so it will be very much appreciated if we can hit that before the year ends. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please stay tuned for more unboxing videos, more tier list videos, just random videos about Pokemon. So yeah, thank you guys again so much. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.